Hey guys, how's everyone doing? This is the Sentinel watching over Geekdom, and welcome back to another Sentinel vlog. Today we're doing another Big Finish unboxing, so this will be, er, unboxing. Allow me to explain. Basically, yesterday, Friday, August 23rd, I filmed this video 10 minutes before I had to get ready for work. And looking back at it, watching it again, I am not happy with how that video turned out, so... I'm doing it again, only this time, rather than an unboxing, it'll be more of a review. R-E-V-U-E. -E. So, without further ado, and because this is my second take, let's just jump right into this. First, I'll share something I acquired, not fr by Big Finish, not from Big Finish, so... Let me grab it. And... The Daleks Master Plan Vinyl. I'm really excited for this. In my last unboxing, I... Let me set that down. In my last unboxing, I acquired the Evil of the Daleks vinyl, which I was really happy about. It looked really cool. And on top of that, it was a story I've been kind of interested in, as far as the missing stories go. And then... I don't remember when, but I... Went and looked on Amazon and looked at the Daleks Master Plan, and it was either marked down or on sale for like 30 bucks cheaper than it usually is, so I jumped right on and bought it. So, yeah, because I love the Daleks Master Plan. Sarah Kingdom is one of my favorite companions, so why wouldn't I jump on that opportunity? And next, the company that does these, I forget their name, is next doing the second Doctor story, The Abominable Snowmen. So we'll see what happens there. I'm, I have a mild interest in The Abominable Snowmen, but not as much in these other two. So now on to the big finish stuff. Across all the... Four packages I got, it was all the same issues of Vortex, because I bought these between July and August. There was a lot of sales now that I think about it. So the Vortex for July was... They were all the same thing. 20 years of Doctor Who at Big Finish, and in remembrance to Paul Darrow. Paul Darrow was an actor who... Appeared a couple times in Doctor Who. I know he was the secondary antagonist in Time Lash, and I think the other one was the Silurians. I don't remember what it was, though, so, yeah. But anyway, he also played the secondary protagonist, and then eventually the main protagonist in Blake 7, a sci-fi series I have not yet seen. I should really jump on that. That big finish is also doing audios for... So, yeah. Now, on to the haul. So, these first two were from a sale. I forget what it was. It was either like a warehouse clearance sale, or it was like a sale for the 20th anniversary. I, I, I just don't remember what it was. And I got Domain of the Vord, which I'm actually really excited for. Domain of the Vord is an early adventures. And I, Adventures is an early adventure, and I really enjoy the early adventures range. And on top of that, I'm excited because this features the first Doctor as played by William Russell, who played Ian. Which, for a while now, ever since I started getting into the early adventures, I've been curious about. So, let me set that aside. I've been curious about the William Russell First Doctor, because I've heard the Peter Purvis First Doctor, and he's okay. I like him alright. But yeah, I just wanted to hear the William Russell First Doctor to compare him against. Domain of the Vord is also a sequel to the First Doctor TV story, The Keys of Marinus, where the Doctor, Ian Barber, and Susan first met the Vord. And the other one in that sale was The Secret History. This, The Secret History, is the conclusion to the Locum Doctors trilogy. Basically, something has happened, and the first three Doctors have gone AWOL. 
forcing later doctors to go back in time and temporarily fill their shoes. Hence the name. Locum is a British word meaning substitute. So first, the first story was The Defectors, which I do not have, which sees the third doctor go back to the era of units and team up with Joe Grant and Mike Yates. And then Last of the Cybermen, which sees the, se- the sixth doctor fill in for the second doctor and team up with Jamie and Victoria. And finally, we learn what's been going on in The Secret History which sees the fifth Doctor go back to the first Doctor's era and team up with Steven and Vicky. All I need is the defectors, and then I will be able to give my thoughts on this trilogy, because I want to listen to this trilogy as a whole. The next two packages I got were the Companion Chronicles. Very recently, Big Finish put all of the Companion Chronicles on clearance, meaning that once the CDs were sold out, it would be download only, which is kind of sad, but a lot of these I'd been wanting to get for some time, so I jumped right onto that. And what I got here was The Last Post, a Third Doctor Companion Chronicle featuring Liz Shaw, one of the first Third Doctor Companions, who I really like. This was also Caroline John's final performance before she passed away, so... And the last post is actually a really good story. I really enjoyed it. Little fan service though, not gonna lie. And then the Time Museum, which is an Ian companion chronicle. This one, I need to listen to again. It was really trippy. It wasn't bad, I just need to listen to it again because I listened to it at work and I think this is one you need to pay attention to. So... The Mahogany Murderers, which was a companion chronicle featuring Jago and Lightfoot from the Talons of Wing Chiang, and was the sort of prologue to their spinoff series, Jago and Lightfoot. Haven't heard this one yet, so I can't really weigh in. And Old Soldiers, the Brigadier's Companion Chronicle. If you haven't seen my thoughts on it. I love the Brigadier. He's one of my favorite companions. Yes, he is a companion. And this was another really good story. In the other package I got, because I bought two things from this Companion Chronicles sale, I got the specials box set. There were three stories in this set. One was The Mists of Time, which was a Joe Grant story, and Freak Show which features Turlo, the Fifth Doctor's companion. I don't know anything about these stories, not gonna lie. The big draw to getting this was the three companions. And before I get into that, allow me to explain. When I got the Sixth Doctor and Charlie arc, each CD provided had excerpts of this sort of companion chronicle story they were doing, the three companions. So I looked around and I saw that, because I I don't know how long it was. I don't remember how long it was, but here it's on three CDs, so. Anyway, the three companions. I decided to get this because I didn't want to get all the main range stories it was on to get the full thing. So I figured this would be a much easier way to do it. The three companions, as the title states, sees three companions team up. What's going on? What happened with the Doctor? I'm not sure, but The Three Companions features Annika Wills as the First Doctor's companion, Polly Wright, Nicholas Courtney as the Brigadier, and... Hang on, I don't remember the actor's name. Give me a second. And John Picard as a Big Finish exclusive companion. He plays the Sixth Doctor's companion, Thomas Brewster. I haven't heard the Thomas Brewster trilogy yet. He showed up in a trilogy of stories. But because the stories he shows up in are Evelyn stories. Evelyn Smythe is my favorite companion. And I've been listening to those in order. I started over a little while ago and I've been listening to them in order. Right now I'm on medicinal purposes. So, yeah. And then next was the novel adaptations. Because Big Finish adapted quite a few 
Doctor Who novels into an audio drama format. So, curious, I got a few of them. Um, totally just blanked on where I was going with that, but... Oh, yeah, and basically, from what I saw, they were only discontinued because the licensing fees were really expensive. But, I got All Consuming Fire, which, along with the novel adaptation, is also a crossover... It is a crossover with Big Finish's Sherlock Holmes range, as rather than recasting the roles, All Consuming Fire stars Nicholas, also features Nicholas Briggs as Sherlock Holmes and Richard Earle as Watson. I just finished All Consuming Fire yesterday. It was a lot of fun. And then the other novel adaptations I got were the two limited editions. I figure, oh, two for one, it would be a good steal. So I got. The, limited, the novel adaptations, limited edition, volume one, which features two Tom Baker stories, The Romance of Crime and The English Way of Death. Both good stories, very evocative of the Douglas Adams era. I think The English Way of Death was the better story. And as this is a limited edition, here, I'll just show you this. I got issue 2,373 out of 10,000. And I got Volume 2, which features another Tom Baker story, The Well-Mannered War. Again, very evocative of the Douglas Adams era of Doctor Who. Big problem with it, though. It ends on a cliffhanger. And from what I've seen, that cliffhanger is never resolved. It's a little annoying. And this features a seventh Doctor story called Damaged Goods which was written by Russell T. Davies prior to his stint as showrunner for the new series. And yeah, of the two, Damaged Goods is the much better story. Oh, right, limited edition. Oh, wow, this one it seems to be selling much slower than the other one. This one I got... Maybe. 1,883 out of 10,000. And the final one I got this time around was, I think, actually one of the first packages that arrived. I'm not going to go into too much detail because I've already talked about this. The Legacy of Time. Big Finish's 20th anniversary celebration for Doctor Who. I already reviewed this in two videos. On the whole, it is a really great set and sold out. For all of the limited editions, that doesn't happen that often, like... Legacy is sold out, and all three of the 10th Doctor Adventures have sold out. I think everything else that's limited edition is still in print for the time being. And this one, when I first looked at it, surprised me, because I pre-ordered it right after the announcement, but I expected it to be higher. This one was, my copy is, 417 out of 4,000. So yeah, this has been... My latest big finish haul. What did you think? What are your opinions on the stories I got? If you have any, go ahead and drop a conversation in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe. Click the little bell in the corner next to subscribe to get notifications when I upload. In the description box below, you'll find the link to my Ko-fi where you can support the channel. And you'll find the link to my Twitter where you can follow me and get updates on the channel. This is The Sentinel, watching over geekdom, and I'll see you guys next time.